Hey, 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 guys, Akumaldo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. Yes. So, a lot of action la yesterday. A lot of action, may I say that, huh? A lot of indecision. People was uh, people were talking about, oh, Bitcoin is gonna break this resistance. Hmm. It's, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen like this, right? It takes some time. The way that I count it, okay. Let me let me present you guys this. Uh, this is my my primary count, okay. Doesn't matter if you label it as a W, X. Why you can label it as an A, um, a B here, and then a C, but then C is gonna go really high, and then this is a corrective movement, okay? Um, assuming that, assuming that we have this correct, that this whole A, B, C here is an A, okay? It's a leading diag A, okay, in a corrective, a corrective leading diag. I, I, I if I remember correctly, I have presented this this pattern to you guys. Okay, it's possible. Okay, waves A are composed by fives normally, but when we have a corrective leading diag, in this case, if we label it as an A here, it is possible to have an A that's composed by trees. So we would have a tree, 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 and tree. Would have a pattern of trees. Okay. Um, so it, it might be in play, okay? I have uh, I have since then um, considered another count, but this might be as well an A, uh, a B here, okay, and then a C. I'm gonna change the the color just to present you guys different perspectives, okay? Okay. This would be a leading di a corrective leading diag. It's not a motive a leading diag. It's not a motive leading diag. Okay. It's not a remember motive waves. We have motive waves that are either diag or impulsive. In this case, it's a corrective uh, leading diag. Okay, it's a corrective because it's correcting this trend here. This trend that we have this this trend here is bearish okay this is the motive is impulse is impulsive but it's down now we are we have a reactionary wave it's not an actionary wave okay according to to Elliott wave principles um so we might have an a here then we would have a b okay L let's measure it okay let's see here Okay, we have re it's a, a longer longer than usual B, yeah. That's why a lot of bulls are calling this a two, yeah, because it has pierced through the this golden box six to one eighty six to five, yeah, it has pierced. So it, it's not it's not it, it's not impossible, right? Uh, but I'm gonna explain why I don't think this is a a bullish. Uh, count a bullish uh, why I don't think this is a motive impulse wave first of all this is not a motive impulse this is this doesn't look like one two three four five not at all and we have broken this low here okay at least at bit stamp and if in one a large exchange we have this data here we need to to consider we need to to count we need to, sh to label our chart in a way that is uh, consistent with uh, throughout the, the exchanges, right? That's the way I see it. Okay, let's consider that we have a corrective leading diag here, okay? A, then we have a B, okay? I am presenting first a different, uh, an alternate count, okay? Then I'm gonna go, uh, which is definitely not, uh, I'm gonna uh, definitely not so definitely it's not that change that different than what I have okay this is I'm projecting a to our B here okay this is the end of our B so here we have 100% this is the minus 33 60 percent of our algo target here so that's nice right someone that bought here at this at the 50% 
the person would likely would love to sell here, right? 100%. Minus 36%, minus 38%, minus 61.80%. But then you would say this region here is also the region of a wave 3. That's why you can count this as a, a bull, right? Because this, if we go that high, okay, assuming, I, I don't think we are gonna, but I need, we need to have everything in place, okay? And I need to consider different counts. This is minus 61.80 percent okay uh and 127 20 percent of the of the extension of a through b here right so then we have this region of 7 right uh, a huge box right we have this one here that would be let me label red yes and one here as well if we go up, huh? if this flat, this extended correct, this this flat uh, correction here, really works, yeah. And it, it in this case, <clears throat> it's not a flat correct. It's a normal correction with a corrective leading diag. It's normal. Yeah, B is not going higher than the beginning of A. It's a normal A B C. Okay, if this is indeed in play, we are gonna go as high as 7400 and then it would go down. Okay, or perhaps 7100. Okay, first of all, okay, first and foremost, we need to break this resistance here, this red box. Yes, that is the 6800 regis uh, resistance. Okay. Then we, we need to see some kind of one, two, three, four, five here because we need to, uh, to assume that this A here, okay, uh, I'm sorry, not this A, this A is for my other count. Let me take this out. Sorry, guys. This is our B, okay? If uh, I'm talking about this count here, this B here, and then we are going one, two, three, four, five to our C. Okay, what's my problem, guys? Uh, this 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 wave here is impulsive. This is a motive impulse wave. This we have one, two, three, clear one, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. We have clear one, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's in the shape of the the wave is not a B. Not to the least, it's this wave four here is characteristic of a, of a wave four, and I'm sorry, I, I can't see a B here. That's why I am not labeling, I'm not marking the chart as a A B C here because this wave here, now, I can't see this as a B. If you say one two, this is a two. Seriously, how can you say that this is a two? It's a, it's weird. Okay, it's it's not. This is not a one. This is not a motive impulse wave. I don't. You, you you If you if you want to count it as a one, two, three, four, five, you f you are forcing it. But it's a clear three, three, three. It's a clear corrective pattern composed of threes. It's not a impulse wave uh, composed of one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then we have this one, two, three, four, five. It, this one is a motive impulse wave. Compare this wave here, the the, sh the 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 shape of this wave here with this one. Okay. Compare it, measure it. Okay. And then now we have what I think we have this A, B, and this this extended C. Okay. The problem is. The pro th th this is my primary count, okay? This is... I'm sorry. Okay, l l let's take this, this ABC out of the picture for a sec, okay? Oh, damn it! When, I, when you try to, to get them all, they don't... They don't come with you, right? It's... That, that's the problem. When you try to not get them all... 
it's when you get them all. <laughs> Damn it. So, forget about this ABC. Yes, now it's working. ABC. Forget about this ABC for a uh, for a while. Okay. Uh, this is not my primary account, as I said. Uh, I don't know how to do this. Yes, no, no, it's working. Sorry, guys. I'm <laughs> some I need to understand a little bit better. So this, this this is my primary account. Okay, why? Like I said, we have finished this A B C. This in this case, when I have a this W here, this is a named in diag. Okay, three 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 three. This is a named in diag C, but it's in a corrective uh, wave. Okay, it's possible. It's in the principle. Okay, again. And then we have this motive impulse wave down for our A. We might consider that this is a ending. Uh, this is a diagonal. Yes, we have no, not a diagonal, right? The four is not really. Yes, no, not a diagonal, but a motive impulse wave A. And then now we are going for our B. Our B can go really high, okay? Because we, we might have an expanded here. Okay, an expanded flat. But we here we, we stopped at this resistance. Okay, whether we go up in break it or not, it's it remains to be seen. Right? It, it's a matter of time. But what I believe, what I think it's gonna happen. Sorry for all those. Let me remove these. Oh, this is important because it's the it's the retracement from this point here up okay guys this this retracement here is from swinging low to this point here high okay simple i am using the retracement tool okay and that's why i have those uh algo targets here the negative minus 618 minus 2360 okay i am i am marking it here just to, just for you guys to to have a, a, a guideline or a, or to, to bear in mind, right, that we we can we might we might go that high. Yes, definitely there are people and algos that bought here at fifty percent and they want to sell here and sell here, of course. Well, this is the way that I count it. We have our B. The B can extend here and here. Okay, and we, we are gonna have our C. Okay, this C might go as low as this region here, right? Then if, pro if we project, here we have the projection, right? We have the projection of uh, A to, through B. Let, let, let me draw this again, okay? I'm gonna take this out. Uh, let me take this box as well. Consider this one here. Uh, let me take this one as well. Okay. Let let us project a this a here. Okay. This this extension here a b. Okay. And now we have our c. Okay, our c. And here we have some algo targets as well, right? Minus twenty three sixty percent. One hundred. I'm sorry. 100% of a uh, wave A here, 100, oh, seriously, nice confluence here, isn't it? Uh, this is, let me put exactly where the B starts, uh, finishes, where I, where it might have finished, okay? Here we have this line here, you see 100, it, it, oh, yes, we can't see, not yet, sorry guys, let me need you. To pull it a bit, and I want to be yeah, like this. This 127, 20 percent. Okay, this line here, and it's a minus 33, 38, 20 percent. Okay. What what this algo target means? Okay, this would be our C, and we have this 100 here as well. Okay, so we have this region here, this box here, guys. Really important. Yeah, why? Because people that sold here at the resistance, they're gonna buy here at those targets here. 
and you see that you have the, the extension 127, 20% and 100 right here at this region, right here together with the minus 33, 60% and 38, 20%. We have this confluence, okay? I would like to put my X and my C here. Don't forget though, if you have been following me here, if you have been watching my videos, we might as well have this, okay? I want you three for five. Why? Because, I'm sorry, here, we might have this, okay? One, two, three, four, five, it's possible. It's possible that we don't have this A, B, C, but we have finished this A, B, C here. We finished this correction here, okay? With an ending diag, three, 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 three. And we are going down again, okay? It's a motive instead of a, of a, of a flat correction that is going uh that's that's still correcting we, we might break it here we might break this lowest low of the year okay remains to be seen again we, we don't have confirmation not yet what i have here is this x what i what i think is gonna happen okay it's a it's a guess it's a it's a forecast yeah then after we finish here then we need to really pay attention if we, whether we are going down, uh, whether we are breaking this low or not, okay, then we would go up again, A, B, C, okay, A, B, and C, to finish this Y. This, this Y here is the, the, the end of this correction here of our A, okay, l l let's see the picture, this is the whole picture I have been showing you guys, I have been presenting here, okay, this is the A. This A here is this, I'm sorry, this A here, okay? I'm sorry, this. This is an A of a higher degree. When I'm, What I mean by that is this. This A of a higher degree. That I, that I labeled as an E as well, yes? Because we have this whole pattern happening here, okay? This is the A of a higher degree. Now we are correcting this A, okay? We are correcting this way, this A, to get to this B, okay? So you might say that, yes, indeed, it's, it's like a bullish moment for Bitcoin because we need to correct this whole movement down. Yes, but corrections are not linear, at least. It's not uh, a straight line upwards. It's not like this. We have these ups and downs. We have this A of a higher degree. Now we are in a correction, okay? In a correction of this motive impulse wave down. This is the end of the correction, okay? B of a higher degree. If and only if we get there, okay? If. If it's if I am right, okay? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I might not be right. Uh, of, this is oh, uh, this is a forecast, okay? And this A, B, C is not precise. I'm not measuring it, not yet, because we don't have enough data to measure it, okay? And here we would have our C of a higher degree here down. We would need to break this this uh, lowest low of the year or not. We might have this lowest low of the year acting as a really strong support. Okay, and this scenario here, it's still in place. Okay, what would what what would change is that we would instead of having a, a triangle, we would have a, something like this. Okay, we would have a something like this okay would we'll use different points of uh, resistance of support i'm sorry okay because we haven't touched it we haven't touched this the support here okay i'm using this okay and the, this the, i put a b c d e this is a a, a triangle inside of uh, the end of e this happens, guys, okay? As I am shown yesterday in my video, in my stream, I show the silver example, yes, from the Elliott Wave Principle book. Okay, we can have an E inside of an E just to extend the correction, okay? To extend in time. Because I, as we have discussed, we, we have correct the price here, okay? This... This A, B, C correct the price, but now we are correcting time. We are taking time for this to, uh, to correct.
okay now it's correcting time we need more time as I uh, if you guys follow me you'll, you're gonna see that I take time into consideration as well, not only price okay so we have correct for what today's seven yes so we have correct for some uh, yeah that 213 days okay not enough not enough yet okay I think we might go we might go to 300 days I don't know to the end of the year to September I don't know I'm forecasting here okay but this big picture here I think is really important okay right, this is disregard this information here Okay, um, so this is this is my count. Okay, this is my count. Uh, do I have a bullish count? Uh, I, I don't think we we need a bullish count. If if we assume that those targets here are possible, okay, they are possible. Minus thirty three six percent, minus sixty one eighty percent. Those targets they are likely no they are possible I, I don't think they are they are likely as it is to go down i think that we have more pressure to go down you see here are the vol volume profile yeah, this this thing here tells us a story right um this is a, this is my weekly chart yeah we are we are i have drawn an a b c d e but in an equally chart, we know we would need to. If we are drawing the lines here, we need to break it. We are down. Yeah, as I as I said, we are we touched the 100 EMA here and react. This is the weekly chart. Okay. Um, yes, we have support. You might have you, you, uh, one other option. Okay, Let, let's be a little bit a little bullish here. Okay, I have this chart as well. Okay. We have the inverted head and shoulder here. Yeah? We have here the neckline. Okay, this is the resistance. Yes, that resistance. Uh, I'm, uh, let me put a little bit lower here. Okay, the neckline here, the left shoulder. Okay, I am labeling it three, four, uh, three of the, f oh, three of the f three, four of the f three. Then I it's labeled differently okay and for this to happen i would need to consider a truncated fifth wave okay which i'm not gonna consider not yet and then i'm i'm taking into consideration this inverted hand and shoulder because we have here the the the, the volume is kind of declining we we have the head the left shoulder has more volume than the head and the volume has been declining and we have in the CMF here, we have this pattern here, which is um, which is what we look, which which is showing that it's changing, right? The, the, the sentiment, but at least for this moment here, it's starting to picking up the volume here of buyers. So, but how do we play this thing? It's simple. We need to, if, if we go, and break this by two percent okay by two percent seriously this if we stay here above by two percent which is what i'm marking here okay i would enter i wouldn't enter here i wouldn't enter here i would enter a little bit above it like this is the mark six to nine fifty i would enter along here and i would place my the the size of the the head okay Oh, damn you. Come on. Come on. Okay, guys, I'm feeling stupid now. I would place... <laughs> Jesus. Okay, take this out. This is the size of the head, okay? A bit... A bit higher. Okay, this is the size of the head. This is a guideline of how... How high it's gonna go, okay? This is what I... W this is how I would play. I would enter... At 7k, if we go a, a little bit higher, let's say that I would enter at 7k, okay? 
and then I would long on to 8k okay I would long on to a bit less as well here okay that that's a fair this is a reasonable risk reward ratio isn't it so and I would target my my stop loss at below the the resistance right and this is daily so this this is this is a possibility but it's is it likely i'm going to i'm going to consider this as a a likely a likely scenario if we break it the if we break this neckline here and we stay at 2% up and then we move rapidly and furiously above it okay and yes it's um this is this is this is something that we that we need to take into consideration right we might have a reversal not a reversal i don't know to be honest i don't know if it would mean that we would that we would start a trend reversal because this would mean that perhaps right that we finish here at the e it's not impossible okay i am extending my e here but we might have finished it here we might okay we might finish the e here and break out okay like here in the weekly chart okay possible yes of course everything is possible right um um so i think it's uh if you guys have questions okay if you guys you can always follow me on twitter here i am <laughs> uh you can follow me on twitter you can ask me questions and requests here down below and those are my social media uh information and if you like it like it if you like it you like it <laughs> and subscribe and as always enjoy your trades guys see you on the next one later bye bye